in the way that we analyze and understand uh, media. Um, so what I'm trying to describe really is, is, is a region that's filled with dynamism and very rapid change. I think it indicates an increasingly open media system uh, in which information travels in and out with relative ease and in very, very significant and large quantities. I'm also suggesting uh, that media development will likely push the region in a direction that is, in, that is quite significantly global, uh, with high resources, high access, high literacy, high audience engagement, high prospects, and high competition between those organizations, the region appears to offer the most energetic and most effervescent media environments in the world. To the extent that the region might be in a, in, in a position to define the next phases uh, in, the me in media development, not solely in the Arab world, but perhaps even globally. So for the first time in its contemporary history, at least the last few hundred years, the Arab world is at the cusp of engaging with the world through reciprocal communication. There's another direction uh, where the Arab world is responding. Whilst in the past, communication was usually, as I described, unidirectional, top-down. Today, Arab media are offering a modern-day embodiment of intercultural public diplomacy. And I'm very adamant about the describing it as such emerging from the heart of the Arab world. So to revisit this new media environment, I think we must be prepared for the first roller coaster ride that is the Arab media in the 21st century, with uh, a public known for its, as I said, ferocious appetite for media content and an increasingly disparate landscape of identity tropes and a dizzying array of media products, politicians, scholars, commentators, uh, and observers of the political, economic, and social trends should be prepared to engage and examine this coming age of, of Arab media cacophony. So as I said, um, I'm just gonna reiterate this. Uh, the characteristics of this cacophony is a, a new transnational media that's produced for export, not just for local consumption. User-produced media, so the consumers now becoming the producers of the content. Revolutionary and social media, um, sorry, social movement media, a hybrid corporate public state media, um, a multilingual and multi-ethnic media, a diasporic and dip in many ways diplomatic media, and then finally a religiously inclined media. I think it's only through a significant commitment to examine, chart, and comprehend this multifactorial uh, and very complex mosaic of Arab media can such transformations be really understood and honed for the betterment of Arab institutions of governance, public participation, and civil society. Thank you very much. Thank you, Dr. Skander, very oh, much for thank a wonderful you. presentation and uh, even a, a better book. Uh, uh, I don't know if. Uh,